cock a doodle doo, motherfucker. And all the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. Hey everybody, Greco Fabulous here, currently en route to a comic book store. Not going to be hitting up my local branch this time, I'm traveling a few towns over. And that is because I already kind of know what my local branch has in store in terms of their inventory. So I kind of want to check out this other branch and see what what they have waiting for me. They're, they're known for having a lot more silver and bronze age selections, so hopefully I can come away with some good stuff. And they're actually having a sale. They're, uh, they're celebrating their 30th anniversary, and in order, and to do that, they're having all their back issues half off, and their wall comics 30 to 50% off. And it's usually DC that they have 50% off. They, the Marvels, they only give you 30. So hopefully I can, I can score some cool DC books. Um, now, this wasn't part of my original plan. You know, yesterday was Father's Day, so I kind of had the perfect day planned out. I had, I was going to get up early, hit the flea market for a few hours, um, then I was going to go to a cookout at a relative's house, and they have a giant in-ground pool, so perfect weather for that. And then I was going to end the night by watching V for Vendetta for the first time, uh, since I just watched, uh, just read the graphic novel and really liked it. So. Unfortunately, though, I woke up and my wife gave me the ultimate guilt trip and was like, well, don't you think you should spend Father's Day with your daughter? And I was like, first off, who let you out of the kitchen? But, you know, even though my body's chiseled like it, my heart isn't made of stone. So I thought about it and I was like, all right, fine. I'll spend time with the little tyke. So I did. And I lost my chance. But, hey, gonna make up for it, right? We'll see. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully I... If not, this is something I can hold against her for the rest of her life. But anyways, obviously I'm not going to get as great deals as I would at the flea market, but I'm going to keep the same budget and I'll uh, show you what I come away with on the other end. Bye! Alright little homies, so I spent an hour and a half digging in the joint. Um, you know, it's not as exciting and lucrative as a flea market can be, but I couldn't wait any longer guys. I had to... Like, it's literally been a month and a half since I've been to a flea market, and, you know, I only go to the comic book store, like, once a month, so I felt like my chest was in a cave-in on itself if I waited any longer. So, anyways, I started off with a bunch of books from the dollar bin, um, and then as I went towards the their higher-end silver and Bronze Age collection, I had to whittle that down a little bit so I can work within my budget, but, anyways, here's what I came away with for twenty dollars and fifty cents total so I got blackest night number three and this is a a run that I want to get in full in single issues because I read um, the entire collection from the library a while ago and I just loved it so I think I have one and four now I have three so I got this for a dollar uh, they also had a couple other issues but for some reason those weren't in the dollar bin they were in the uh, back issue bins and they were half off cover price so I it was two bucks, and I just feel like if I can if I can afford to be patient, I'll get those eventually. Then I picked up Fantastic Four number two fifty seven. Of course, got Galactus on the cover, so I had to get that. He's got like a split personality thing going on, and I don't know if this is like a Ghost Rider thing or if they're insinuating that you know he has a skull, but. I don't know, man. I, I just don't buy it. Like somebody like that can't have any human attributes, you know, other than his face and his body and his complete exterior. Then, you know, I got to get a RoboCop book. It's RoboCop Prime Suspect number one. I mean, me and me and Robo have a history. I swear, if like. If I met Leonardo da Vinci and he was like, dude, I'm going to draw you anything you want. I'd be like, you got to get me RoboCop. So that's my, RoboCop's my Sistine Chapel, pretty much. And if that wasn't enough evidence, I got RoboCop number seven from Marvel. And not only is it RoboCop, but it also proves that robots, robots can develop a sense of humor. Extinct or alive, you are coming with me. Ha ha. Ha ha. Come on, that's awesome. Oh, Robo, who knew you had it in you? And then, to finish up the dollar books that I got, I got Shogun Warriors number three. Again, giant robots. Gotta love it. 
I picked up number one at New York Comic Con a long time ago, and that was a dollar too. So that's probably another run that I'll probably pick up in full, even though I've never read a single issue. Uh, anyways, now we're getting to the higher end books, and I had a tough time with this. Um, there was a bunch of books that caught my eye, but again, you know, I'm working within a budget, and you know, I'm trying to calculate like the books here were 30% off. I guess they weren't doing 50% off DC. I guess that's my local shop. So shame on me for shunning them. Um, but I walked away with a couple books. One I'm really happy with. One I'm kind of on the fence with just because it pretty much ate up half of my budget and it's not in pristine condition. But anyways, didn't have a single X-Men Bronze Age book in my collection until today. Bam, X-Men number 122, The Trial of Colossus. So number one, Bronze Age X-Men. Two, Love Colossus. Three, $7, 30% off. So I got this for five bucks. Has some gross brown dookie up here, but other than that, who cares, man? This thing rocks. F and Love Colossus. Oh, I can't help you. I don't know why I'm the leader. I'm so useless. So, if you think I was going to stop with one X-Men book now that I was on a roll, you are sadly mistaken, friend. Because then I topped it all off with X-Men number 83. Along came a spider. So you got the original X-Men team and a cameo with Spider-Man. Now this one they were asking 15 so I got it for 10.50. This one I was a little iffy on because the edges, you know, they're kind of in rough shape. They're they're bent, they're clipping, all that kind of stuff. But I ended up going with this because my alternatives weren't that great that were in my price range. It's funny, I actually saw uh, Iron Man number 9 on the wall. And if you guys... I'm not going to testify against myself again. Um, but if you saw my comic confession video from a while back, you know exactly what the story is behind that Iron Man number 9. Um, I was hoping it would have been another issue, but it was the same exact one that I came across last time. So I had to put that one back. Um, and then I saw some other books. I toyed with getting an uh, Amazing Adventures number... Um, I forget what the issue is, but it has Iron Man and Beast on the cover, but I let that one slide for this one. But I'm pretty happy with this. Again, love Spider-Man, Bronze Age X-Men. It's the original team. So I got, you know, both halves of the spectrum in one one swoop here. A little higher than I would have liked to spend, but... Hey, it's all cool, baby. You know, I'm rolling in dough. The cost of money, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty happy with what I came away with. Satisfied my hunger for the time being. Um going to be going to the comic book shop by the end of the month again anyways and maybe i can sneak in another wall comic but we'll see anyways thanks for tuning in guys and until next time bugatti